All right, so we're in 2-4. We're going to be looking at Venn diagrams. Uh, this first question has five parts, and it says four parts are remaining. We want to use uh, the numerals representing cardinalities in the Venn diagram to give the cardinality of each set. So cardinality is just referring to uh, the number of elements in that set. Okay, so... <coughs> Number one, part A, we want to know number of elements in A intersect B. Okay, so in the Venn diagram, that would just represent the part of A and B that are overlapping. So this middle piece here, and from the image we can see that there is one element in there. So for part A, we just get one. Part B, we want to know A union B. A or B. So that would represent all of A and B. So that would be both entire circles. So everything there. So A, 0, plus 1, plus 4. So we get 5. You just add each of those pieces up and get your total of 5. C wants to know the cardinality of A intersect B complement. <coughs> A intersect B complement. So what does that picture look like? So we're going to be doing two shadings. We're going to look for the overlap. So we're going to do A first. So here's A. Here is B. So shading A, I would shade all of circle A. Okay, that's even the part that overlaps with B. Intersect, so double shade, B complement. So B complement, I'm going to do horizontal lines. So I want the overlap part. So horizontal lines is going to be B complement. B complement is everything except for B. So I'm stopping at circle B and not shading anything in B. So B complement is horizontal. A is vertical lines. So the part A intersect B complement is the part of A that does not overlap with B. So this grid here and in that part of A there is nothing so in this diagram there is nothing in there so zero now we want to do A complement intersect B alright so A complement intersect B again we're going to be doing double shading A complement is going to be everything but A so A complement I'm going to do vertical everything except for A so this is A complement everything in the box nothing that is in A intersect B so B the whole circle B Okay, so the part with the overlap, double shading, is the part of B that does not overlap with A. Because this part only has horizontal, this part has both horizontal and vertical. So it would be this part B. So this part B that has 4, not including that 1. So we would get 4 cardinality for A complement intersect B. And then the last part we want to do A complement intersect B complement so this is one of De Morgan's laws uh, which I think we've seen before but classes are starting to blur A complement intersect B complement this is also the same as if you like to factor out a negative one or pull the complement out this is the same as A union B the complement of that. 
and it's usually easier to do this part <clears throat> I'll show both uh, but eventually I'm gonna start doing the one that's gonna be less work for you because you wanna work smarter and not harder alright so here I'm gonna do overlapping and then I'm gonna get the double shaded portion so we have A we're gonna have B okay so A complement I'm gonna do vertical everything but A So this is a complement of vertical lines. And then B complement, I'm going to do horizontal lines. So B complement is horizontal. So everything but B. Not going to go into B with the horizontal lines. Okay, so if you look at the part of the shading that has double both lines, it's going to be all the outside. This has horizontal only this has vertical only uh, this middle piece uh, if I do A if I do yeah that middle piece will have none okay so <clears throat> if we do it like this do the other one it's a lot cleaner easier to see so A union B is everything A and B but we want the complement of A and B so it's going to be everything on the outside of A and B okay so this picture is going to be a lot neater you can see it's just the outside here is harder because you got lines going every which way so it's going to be the outside which is five on the outside of this picture <clears throat> 